Hey everyone, so today I am doing a Q&A video with questions I received through Twitter um, and hopefully the answers to these questions will help those of you going through hearing loss, those of you who are curious about hearing loss, and those of you who have friends or family who are going through hearing loss. Um, these are actually really questions I get all the time, so um, I hope that they help you guys out. Let's start. Alright, so the first one is do you or did you ever feel pressure to wear a hearing aid? Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh, I was I was decided by doctors and my parents when I was seven years old that I would benefit from a hearing aid. Well, two hearing aids, one in each ear. Um, now, getting a seven-year-old to actually wear the hearing aids was a struggle that my parents went through every single day. They're like, you'll benefit from these, use them. And I was like, no, and I like run away. I did not want anything to do with them. Even through junior high, I you know, occasionally would wear them. Sometimes I wouldn't. It wasn't until high school when I really needed them to communicate. I really needed them to understand what my teachers were saying in my classes that I actually started wearing them every single day. And they really did help, and they were a great tool. Um, um, even though it was kind of embarrassing and I felt like they were kind of a physical reminder that I was different, they were something that helped me get through my day and helped me communicate. So, you know, I really wish that I would have started wearing them earlier and just, you know, fess up, hey, I'm hearing aids. If you have a problem with that, you deal with it kind of thing. Um, all right, the second question is, did you ever feel like your voice started? Do you ever feel like your voice started sounding different or that you slurred your words? Absolutely, especially when I um, first lost the ability to be able to hear my own voice. Uh, my speech became really, really slurred and um, I wasn't pronouncing words properly. My dad would stop me and make me repeat the sentence and, and enunciate everything I was saying, like exaggerate everything so that I to make sure I get it right. And they would make, my mom and my dad would make me say the sentence over and over and over again and I got frustrated with it. I really did. Um, but, you know, it, it did end up helping me in the long run. And I still have days where I go without my hearing aids. I'm still without my processor. And uh, I don't want to talk because I still do slur my words and I still do slur my sentences. And, you know, I just, <laughs> so I just go all day signing. Um, but sometimes I'll just, you know, go around talking, especially around my family because they are hearing. Um, number three... Was it hard or weird to tell people that knew you before you lost your hearing and you were deaf now? Oh my gosh, absolutely. I still struggle with that. I'll run into somebody from like high school or whatever and I'll be like, I'm so sorry, like I can't hear you, I'm deaf. And they're like, oh my gosh, when did that happen? I'm like, well, it started when I was four. Like the whole time I knew you in high school, in junior high school, you know, it's just a secret. Like, uh, it's totally me really awkward and they're always like oh my gosh I had no idea blah 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 but you know being deaf and being hard of hearing is part of who I am it's not something I'm ashamed of so now I say it with pride rather than you know feeling ashamed of it it's just like you know this is who I am it's made me a stronger person it's made me who I am today I'm proud of it and I hope that you can accept that um kind of thing um let's see did you ever try to try and pass this hearing because the change frustrated you I pretended I was hearing for like 18 years. Um, from the time I was diagnosed hearing lo with hearing loss when I was four to the time I was like in my 20s, I didn't want anyone to know. It was a huge secret. Um, I didn't tell anyone, my friends, family members, I did not want anyone to know. And um, so I pretended, I acted every single day like I was hearing and you know, I always felt like, you know, I wasn't being true to myself. I wasn't being honest with myself or with others because of that. And I sometimes I wonder, I was like, you know, if I was just honest with myself and I had accepted myself for who I was earlier in my life, you know, would it have been easier as a kid rather than going around living in fear and, you know, hoping that no one will find out my big secret? If it would have been easier to just, you know, hey, I'm hard of hearing. I'm cool. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, let's see. The next one is, oh, were your parents and family supportive? You know, I feel like sometimes me going through hearing loss, it was not just me. I didn't go through it alone. My family went through that change with me too. And 
oh, there are times, and they're never going to fully understand you um, because they haven't gone through hearing loss themselves. And it's a really, really unique experience. So you can't expect your family to just completely understand what you're going through and, and fully, you know, support you. They're going to make mistakes and they're not going to understand it first. And it's up to you to explain to them, hey, this is what I'm going through. This is what I need from you. And there had there was a point in time where I would just get so frustrated with my family, I would leave the table. I'd have my entire family, aunts, uncles, everyone around, and they're laughing and talking and having a good time, and I felt completely left out. And I was so angry about that for a long time until one day I sat them down and I was like, hey, you guys, I can't hear. So I need you to do a few things for me. I need you to look at me when you talk. I need only one person to talk at a time and I need you to be patient and to be okay with repeating things for me. And you know, after I sat them down and I had that serious conversation with all of them individually, um, then it started getting better for me. They started, you know, accommodating me more and helping me out more. Now, I still get frustrated with them because they still, you know, they don't understand what I'm going through unless I tell them. So it's not going to be perfect. It, it's not going to, there's not going to be an easy fix. But, you know, your family is going to do the best they can because they love you. As you said, it's up to you to let them know what they can do to help you. Um, now, I have a hearing family, 100% hearing, and I have tried so hard to get them to learn sign language to no avail. Um, a few of them can sign their ABCs. A few of them know some other signs, and that helps me so much. But no one's fluent. Um, so, you know, I, I, keep at, I keep at it, I'll sign in front of them and I'll be like, hey you guys, learn this sign. Here's a name sign, try to get them more involved. Um, but if I ever find, come up with a trick to how to make your hearing family learn sign language, I'll, I'll let you all know. <laughs> all right, and I think this is the last one. Um, 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 was it ever a struggle to be part of the deaf and hard of hearing community because you hadn't been deaf since birth? Yes. Yes, it was. Now, um, oh goodness, yes, it was. Um, I didn't feel, I grew up in this one culture, this hearing culture, right? This culture that I felt comfortable with, you know, this is all I knew. And the culture shock of joining this other culture, I didn't feel like I fit in, I didn't feel like I belonged. I felt so self-conscious, especially with my sign language when I started out in the trying to integrate into the deaf community and my views on a lot of things that about that the deaf community has an opinion on were different from what everyone that was already a member thought and so I felt really isolated for a while I felt like oh my gosh I'm never gonna fit in I'm never gonna make any friends here um, and I, but I did and it really took me accepting who I was and deciding what I wanted and what I believed was right um, for me to actually realize, you know, I do fit in here. You know, I just have to know who I am. And so that's really what it's about. Know yourself. Know what, how you feel about your hearing loss and about um, how you dealt with it. We all have different backgrounds in the deaf community and it's not going to be, it's like joining any new group of people. There's already, you know, established groups, established like cliques and stuff. And it's about finding the people that are, have the same interests, have the same loves and um, making friends where you can. Um, don't be self-conscious about your sign language because I wasted so much time um, being self-conscious about my sign language. Um, and not going to events or, or not talking to people as much because I was afraid that I would I would look stupid or I, I wouldn't sound I wouldn't be signing right you know just jump in do it go for it and be you all right I hope that these answers helped you all um, I love you all if you have any more questions type them in the comment section or send them to me on Twitter my Twitter is acting Amanda I'll put the handle down there all right everyone bye Mwah.